Some of the newer TVs that are coming out have a built-in way of mirroring your iPhone to the screen, but not all TVs have that capability. So in today's tech video, I'm going to show you three different ways of how to screen mirror your iPhone to any Samsung TV. The three different ways that I'm going to show you how to screen mirror your iPhone will work on any model of TV and any year of TV. You just have to have an HDMI connection to plug into. So let's dive into this. The first way to try and screen mirror your iPhone is using a Roku device. Now this will work on all the major Roku devices that are out there, including the Roku streaming stick. Here are the instructions on how to do this. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to mirror your iPhone to your Roku. Roku recently updated their platform so that Apple AirPlay is now built into their devices making it real easy to mirror without using any kind of third-party apps or anything like that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your Roku is up to date. So grab your remote control and hit your home button if you're not on the home screen like I am right now. Then go down to where it says settings and then click over and we're going to want to go down all the way to where it says system and then go down to where it says system update You'll click on that and then you'll check now. After it's all the way up to date, go ahead and click on your home button again, take you to the home screen, and then we're gonna go down to settings. And then we're gonna go down to this new category right here that says Apple AirPlay and HomeKit. And then click on that. And then now over here on your sidebar, you'll see where it says AirPlay on and off. You wanna make sure that's on on. On the require code, I have it just as first time only. Uh, so if you click on that, you'll see that it gives you options for first time only, every time, or use password instead. So that's all based on preference. I'm going to keep mine on first time only. And then now that it's set to first time only and on, you're going to want to jump over to your iPhone. Now, you do want to make sure that your iPhone and your Roku are set up on both of the same Wi-Fi network, so they have to be on the same local Wi-Fi network. Okay, once you jump over here on your iPhone, you wanna swipe down on the top, top right corner like that, and it brings up your menus icons here, and right here in the middle, you'll see where it says screen mirroring. Go ahead and tap on that, and then as you can see, I have two that pop up here, but on the very top one there, it says Roku, or Roku streaming stick. And you tap on that. It'll ask for a code. Okay, now that it's typed in, you'll see on my iPhone there's a check mark next to where it says Roku Streaming Stick. And then on my TV, you'll see where it's mirroring exactly what's on my iPhone. And then to stop mirroring, you just go down to where it says stop mirroring and then stop it that way. Okay, now here's the beauty. Once you are connected, I jumped over to the YouTube app here to play one of my YouTube videos. I have the phone tilted in vertical mode and it's already playing in landscape mode on the screen. So it's not like I have to tilt my phone into landscape mode. It automatically detects it and puts it in landscape mode on the screen. And here's the other wonderful thing is the volume is or volume is coming out of the TV instead of the the phone because some of these third-party applications it would come out through the phone let me show you subscribe to my channel and that's what I'm trying to get you to do right now the second way to screen mirror your iPhone is using an Amazon Fire Stick or any of the Amazon streaming devices here are the instructions on how to do it this way Okay, so here's a step-by-step -step instructions on how to mirror anything that you got going on on your iPhone to your Fire TV right here, so or your Fire Stick. So well, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go over to your magnifying glass over here, and then you're gonna wanna type in A Power Mirror. Okay, and it comes up right here, A Power Mirror, and you should get that icon that looks that's right there. A power mirror, go ahead and click on that. Okay, and it'll take you to this screen here and then you'll go ahead and click OK on your remote control to download it. Okay, once it's installed, go ahead and click open and it'll take you to this screen here. Uh, you have to allow access of A power mirror to access your photos, media, and files on your device. So just go ahead and click on allow. All right, so now once you get to this screen here to mirror your phone, we're gonna go to the second tab right here where it says phone screen mirroring and then click on that. 
it'll take you to this QR code over here on the left. All you want to do is just open up the uh, picture taking app on your iPhone and then go over and scan it and then as soon as you scan it up here at the top it'll have the QR code reader so you just tap on that and it'll automatically take you to your iPhone so that way you can download the A power mirroring screen app so click on it to download it all right and then we'll go ahead and click open all right and now I ask you a question a power mirror would like to find and connect devices on your local network uh, you want to click OK because both of these have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network all right so it's asking for network permission and location permission just go ahead and click on continue and then allow while using app so there it goes and now it's recognizing Wi-Fi connection Next thing we want to do is click on that middle button where it says mirror and now it's searching for your Wi-Fi network and then it's got an icon here that says a power mirror. Okay next what you want to do is swipe down on the top right corner of your iPhone just like this it'll bring up all these different options and then right there in the middle you'll see where it says screen mirroring. You'll tap on that and as you can see right here at the very top it's got a power soft and that is what is powering or talking with the app that you just downloaded on your fire stick so then you just click on that it'll load up and as you can see we are now mirroring directly to the TV so I'll give you guys a quick little test of how this works oh also if you do want to stop mirroring you'll just swipe down the bottom or the top right and click on that stop mirroring button right there but let's go ahead and play something from my camera roll we'll sh um, play a video that I recorded okay here's the test video that I recorded with my dog and it's playing directly from my phone right to the TV just like that and the great thing is the sound is coming from the TV and not from the phone so there you go that's how you mirror your iPhone to your fire stick the last way to mirror your iPhone and it's probably the easiest way of the three but it's also the most costly is using an Apple TV 4k here are the instructions on using this device okay so First thing you want to do is make sure you have your, your Apple TV 4K all set up and went through all the steps of getting it all uh, installed and put together and, and attached to your iCloud account. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is grab your remote control, which looks like this right here. All right, and then go ahead and go down to the settings right here and then click on that. And what you're going to want to do is go to that fourth tab right there that says AirPlay and HomeKit and then click on that alright so go ahead and make sure that your airplay is turned on uh, some of you guys when you get you first get this set up you may have to get it connected with your iPhone and the way that they do this is you have to make sure your iPhone is unlocked and you gotta hold it near your Apple TV and then it'll automatically pair it's, it's pretty magical how they do that I, I mean it recognizes that your phone is near the, the Apple TV and then it automatically starts syncing together and then you just gotta give it the approval to uh, access your phone but once you do have it uh, make sure that your airplay setting is on right here and it'll ask you to name it, uh, your Apple TV 4k to whatever room that you have it in and then here on the allow access there's a few different um, there's a few different options here that you can choose. You can go to everyone, anyone on the same network. Only people are sharing this home require a password on, and then you'll create a password, and then also allow nearby to airplay. So that's all based on preference on whichever one that you want to do. But once you have that selected, go ahead and go back. Make sure that that airplay is on. Now that it's on, we're going to have you go ahead and grab your iPhone. Okay, go ahead and grab your iPhone, and then make sure that it's unlocked. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to swipe down from the top right corner, just like so, so that it brings up this menu right here. And then you'll see right here where my thumb is, it says screen mirroring. So then you'll tap on that, and it automatically recognizes the Apple TV nearby. All you do is tap on that, it starts to think, and then voila, it's mirroring right to your TV. So that's the easy way to mirror your iPhone to your TV using Apple TV 4K. Okay, so here are all the different methods on how to mirror your iPhone to your TV using AirPlay. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and click a thumbs up on it.
go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time, and I would love to have you back in the next one. Take care.